Two households, both alike in dignity, in fair Glen Ridge, where we lay our scene. From ancient grudge breaks new mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. From forth the fatal loins of these two foes, a pair of star-crossed lovers take their lives, whose misadventures piteous overthrows do with their death bury their owner's strife. The fearful passage of their death marked love, and the continuous of their owner's rage, which but their pet's end not could remove is now the two-hour traffic of our stage, the which, if you with patient ears attend, what here shall miss, our toil shall strive to mend. He jests at scars that never felt a wound. But soft, what light thou yonder window breaks, it is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, and kill the envious moon, who is already sick and pale with grief. That thou, her maid, art far more fair than she. Be not her maid, since she is envious. Her vestal livery is but sick and green, and none but fools do wear it. Cast it off. It is my lady, oh, it is my love. Oh, that she knew she were. She speaks, yet she says nothing. What of that? Her eye discourses. I will answer it. I am too bold. Tis not to me she speaks. Two of the fairest stars in all the heavens have some business, do entreat her eyes, to twinkle in their spheres till they return. What if her eyes were there, they in her head? This brightness of her cheek would shame those stars, as daylight doth a lamp her eye in heaven. What thou, the airy region, stream so bright, that birds would sing and think it were not night? See how she leans her cheek upon her hand. Oh, what a, I were a glove upon that hand, that I might touch that cheek. I me. She speaks. Oh, speak again, bright angel, for thou art as glorious to this night. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Or if thou wilt not be, but sworn my love, and I'll no longer be a Capulet. Shall I hear more, or shall I speak at this? Tis but thy name that is my enemy. Thou art thyself, thou not of Montague. What's a Montague? It is nor hand, nor foot, nor arm, nor face, nor any other part belonging to man. Oh, be some other name. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. So Romeo, would were he not Romeo called, retain that dear perfection which he owns. Without that title, Romeo doth thy name. And for that name, which he is no part of thee, take all myself. I take thee at thy word. Call me but love, and I'll be new baptized. Henceforth I never will be Romeo. What man art thou, that thus screened in the night, so stumblest on my counsel? Name, I know not how to tell thee who I am. My name, dear saint, is hateful to myself, because it is an enemy to thee. Had it written, I would tear the word. I have not yet drunk a hundred words of that tongue's utterance, yet I know the sound. Art thou not Romeo, a Montague? With love's light wings did I approach these walls. They do see thee, they will murder thee. Alack, there lies more peril in thine eye than twenty of their swords. I would not for the world they saw thee here. Night's cloak to hide me from their sight. And but thou love me, let them find me here. Thou knowest the mask of night is on my face, else would a maiden blush betaint my cheek. For that which thou hast heard me speak tonight, fain would I dwell on form, fain, fain deny. I have spoke, but farewell compliment. Dost thou love me? I know thou wilt say I, and I will take thy word. Yet if thou swearest, thou must pr prove false at lover's perjuries. Then say, Jove laughs. O gentle Romeo, if thou dost love, pronounce it faithful. Or if thou thinkest I am too quickly won, I'll frown and be preserved and say thee nay. That, so thou wilt woo, but else not for the world. In truth, fair Montague, I am too fond, and therefore thou mayest think my behavior light. Trust me, gentlemen, I prove more true than those that have more cunning to be strange. I should have been more strange, I must confess, but that thou overheardest ere I was ware with my true passion, therefore pardon me, and not include this yielding to light love, which the dark night hath so discovered. Lady, by yonder blessed moon I swear, 
O oh, swear not by the moon, the inconstant moon, lest that thy love prove likewise variable. Shall I swear by? Do not swear at all. Or if thou wilt swear, swear by the gracious self, which is the god of my idolatry, and I'll believe thee. If my heart's dear love. Well, do not swear. Although I joy in thee, I have no joy of this contract tonight. It's too rash, too unadvised, too sudden. This bud of love by summer's ripening breath may prove a beauteous flower when we next meet. Good night, good night, as sweet repose and rest come to thy heart as that within my breast. Will thou leave me so unsatisfied? Satisfaction canst thou have tonight. Exchange of thy love's faithful vow for mine. I gave thee mine before thou didst request it, and yet I would it were to give again. Wouldst thou withdraw it? For what purpose, love? But to be frank and give it to thee again, and yet I wish but for the thing I have. My bounty is as bountiless as the sea, my love as deep as the more I give to thee. The more I have for both are infinite. Juliet, I hear some noise within. Dear love, adieu. Anon, good nurse. Sweet Montague, be true. Stay but a little. I will come again.